Hello and welcome to Lunch with Lisa. I am Lisa Warner. I am the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing. It's a book I wrote after I healed myself from cancer without using the medical model, simply by shifting the way I perceived cancer. And if I can do that, you can do that too. Self-healing. It's a natural occurrence for all of us. But when we expect disease and we expect a long drawn out process, that's what we get. We are taught to expect disease. They plaster it all over the news. Every time you go to your doctor, they look for it. They tell us that we have to have mammograms and colonoscopies because it's just expected that cancer or some other disease is going to show up. And you know what? We get what we expect. We are grand beings of light. We are creator beings. We create in every moment of every day, whether we are aware of it or not. And we create exactly what we expect. So every day, all day, whenever you turn on the TV, there are messages that tell us to expect disease. And look what happens. We live in perhaps the sickest society ever on this planet. There's a direct correlation between the messages that we are receiving and the reality we are creating because we create what we expect. So I say, let's start expecting health because you know what? That's actually our blueprint, the divine blueprint, the blueprint created by creator itself is health. In every moment of every day, our bodies are doing exactly what they are being instructed to do. Our bodies are responding to our thought patterns and our emotions. When we're thinking thoughts of, I'm not okay, I hope I never get that disease, I wonder what's wrong with me. All of those types of thought patterns that we have all been taught to think, those thoughts generate our reality. And then when we're when we are so uncomfortable in our own minds that we're in patterns of fear and doubt and worry and guilt and shame, those are traumas, those are wounds. And then our bodies reflect those traumas and wounds. But as our bodies respond to those thought patterns of I'm not okay, this isn't good, uh-oh, danger, danger. As the body adapts itself to those thought patterns and does what it needs to do to survive, those biological adaptations are then called disease. We're not being attacked by diseases. Our bodies are reflecting, responding to our thoughts and emotions and our beliefs. And when we believe that cancer or some other disease is inevitable, guess what we create? And then we say, see, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, because you created it with your expectations. We are taught to expect disease. And when we expect disease, that's exactly what we get. So what if 
instead of looking at what our bodies are doing as diseases, what if we recognize that our bodies have been responding to our emotional conflicts? And we start to expect that the body is doing exactly what it needs to do in order to heal itself. This is actual science. This is actual biological law. This is how our bodies work. We have a trauma. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm not okay. This isn't good. Depending on what type of trauma that is, whatever thought pattern is running through our minds, the body responds in specific ways to those specific I'm not okay patterns. So when we look at the body, the medical model says, oh, that's not good. You have some disease. On the contrary, we can look at what the body is doing and say, oh, you had this specific type of emotional trauma. And the body is doing exactly what it needs to do to help us overcome that trauma. Most of the time, more than 90% of the time, when a symptom shows up in the body, it's the body has gone into healing. But we're not taught that. We're simply taught to expect disease. So as soon as a symptom shows up in our body, oh no, this is terrible. Because that's what we're taught. We're taught to fear the symptoms that our bodies exhibit. Our bodies are parts of us. We're literally being taught to be afraid of ourselves by being afraid of ourselves. Would you be willing to stop expecting disease and start expecting and anticipating health instead? Would you be willing to start seeing that your body is functioning exactly the way it's designed to function? Are you willing to stop fearing your own body? Would you be willing to stop listening to the rhetoric out there telling you to expect disease? Disease. It's a multi-trillion dollar industry. They've generated an entire industry around disease. What if we flip that around and made it about well-being instead. Well, we can't do that because the entire pharmaceutical industry would go away. For the most part, it would have to change. Because we would start to see that we're not being attacked by diseases. And we would start to see the brilliance of these bodies. We would start to see the self-healing capacity that is built right into our cells. But we can't use what we don't know that we have. And because we are taught to overlook our body's natural ability to heal itself, we don't notice it. We don't utilize it. Because we're taught that it's not there. So we keep falling victim to diseases. And we start living from pill to pill to pill, wondering why we don't feel well. Are you ready to start feeling better? Are you ready to start activating your ability to heal yourself? Are you ready to recognize your body's ability to heal itself naturally? No pills required. You can't use what you don't know you have. And if you don't look for your body's ability to heal itself, you will not find it. 
And then you will just say, doesn't exist. It's not a thing. It's a thing. It exists. But if you're not willing to look inside, you're never going to find any of your superpowers. Self-healing is a superpower. It's built right into your design. But you can't use it if you don't look for it. If you don't expect it. If you keep listening to everybody else, they're going to keep telling you to expect more and more and more diseases. When we've gone through one, they go, oh, well, we better create another one so they can expect another one. See the game that's being played. Look at it. Open your eyes and see the game that's being played with your health. Your health is up to you. If you leave it up to somebody else, good luck. You have everything you need to heal yourself. And all of that is right inside. And you have to look for it. Otherwise, you will never see it. Are you willing to see the power you have to heal yourself? Because it's there. It's built right in. But you have to be willing to see it. You have to be willing to stop expecting disease and start expecting health and healing, self-healing. You are the only one who can heal yourself. Nobody else can heal for you. Why? Because health is an act of creation. You are the creator. You have to create the health that you desire. But if you're focused on disease, focused on trying to prevent disease, you're focused on disease, you're expecting disease, and you will get exactly what you expect. Are you willing to expect better? For yourself? Are you willing to expect healing and health? See the game that's being played and opt out. Start creating your own health. Health is natural. Disease is not. Are you willing to get what you expect? Are you willing to expect vibrant, radiant health? If you need assistance with this, please reach out. You can find me at connectingyoutoyou.com. My book is called The Simplicity of Self-Healing. It's available on Amazon. It's a great primer. It's a great way to start shifting your consciousness around health and healing. I hope this was helpful to you today. I hope this was a little bit inspirational to you today. Are you willing to see the superpowers that you possess? You have to look for them inside. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Lunch with Lisa. Until next week, create for yourselves a great week. Bye for now.